Creamer in his prison plan writes, to win, we must not just generate understanding, but emotion, fear, revulsion, anger, and disgust. Have they done that? If that same diabetic ends up getting their foot amputated, that's $30,000, dollars $50,000 immediately the surgeon is reimbursed. You know what? I make a lot more money if I take this kid's tonsils out. Now, desperate Republicans and their well-funded allies are organizing angry mobs, just mm. like they did during the election. Wow, angry mobs and oh. fear, disgust. Obama and Pelosi have dealt in the politics of fear since the inauguration, while accusing the right of doing that. The Obama administration is trying to stir up emotion, revulsion, and fear to peddle this massive government takeover for the progressive plan developed in prison. In the process, they have seemingly followed his plan from a convicted felon. They have followed it to the letter. All of them, all of them have been done. Is That's got to be a coincidence. How, what are the odds? Can somebody in Vegas, Steve Wynn, you watching? Can you compute the odds of this and tell me what the odds are of this going right in Vegas? What a coincidence, huh? Oh, and by the way, another pure coincidence you'll see here in the acknowledgments right at the beginning. Here. He actually says, hey, by the way, Saul Alinsky, you're an inspiration. Huh. Another pure coincidence that Creamer predicted all of this would happen in 2009 after a progressive president was elected. And then he went right to work after he got out of prison for the Obama campaign. Trained volunteers at Camp Obama. Whoa, what an amazing coincidence that he was at the White House with these guys at the first state dinner. Wow. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure convicted felons are usually barred from such events. At least somebody would raise a flag there. But nobody noticed. Nobody noticed because somebody else snuck into the party. Yeah, yeah. Pure coincidence, I'm sure. But instead of speculating, you know what we could do? <laughs> if I just had a way to communicate with the White House, wouldn't it be easy? I mean, what an easy way to shut all of this down. The White House has the phone. They could just call me. Is it still? Yep, still working. They've got the phone number. Oh, I know they're watching today. They should call. You know what they should do? This is probably what they will do. They'll just attack me. They'll smear me. They'll say, whatever, They'll, whatever. But just answer the question. Phone's working. Call the red phone, White House. Why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you do it? Could it be that you don't have any? Because they're not difficult to, to answer, these questions. They're, is, it, is it that it's true? Did you know this man was a criminal while he trained volunteers at Camp Obama? This, by the way, would be the second person who had done jail time that you've hired. Did you know that? Did you know about this book, or is it just amazing coincidence that you're following the prison plan to the letter? Is it just a coincidence that this guy shows up at a state dinner? You know, I'm pretty confident that the Secret Service knows this man's criminal background. The question is, why and who let him in? You see, I don't believe in coincidence. I don't, I don't think there's anything, but I mean, even if you do, is there any point to where the coincidence is just too much? That just, the, the, it just doesn't fly anymore. I didn't know that my preacher was a Marxist. I, sure, I sat in the pew for 20 years, but I had no idea. I didn't know my green job czar defended cop killers and was a communist, and he called himself a communist. I had no idea my science czar wanted to put sterilants in the drinking water and impose forced abortions. I didn't know that my communications director loved Chairman Mao. And, you know, and, and, and I, I had no idea this reality star wannabe crashing the state dinner, what? I didn't know a convicted felon, a progressive activist that wrote a book that is exactly the plan that I'm doing and he wrote it in prison. I didn't know he was also at that dinner. Wow. Do you care to correct me? Would you like to? You can't. No jury in America would believe you. None. But as they say.